What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you see something that you like here today, please don't forget to subscribe at some point. Those of you stopping by the have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So, one that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. I was very excited to get. It's actually marketed for the ladies as a women's perfume, but I find it to be quite a unisex fragrance, as long as you're in the florals. And of course, we're talking about Kajal Eau de Parfum, from Kajal Perfumes. Stay tuned. Kajal Eau de Parfum. I believe this was the first fragrance from the house, if I remember correctly, back in 2014, I believe is when it was released. So let's take a look at this presentation real quick. So starting off with the box, I love the color combination on this box. It's got that chrome metallic paint, that light blue. It says Kajal Eau de Parfum. Same designs on the front. On the bottom has batch code and barcode. On the sides continues with that design, and then the back has a bunch of fragrance information. You know, size and concentration on the bottom. This is a 100 milliliter bottle, Eau de Parfum. I actually love how this box looks. The box is actually one of my favorite parts of the presentation on this. Even though it's thin, cheap cardboard, the, the, one of the beauties of Kajal and the way their presentations are, I haven't really covered this and others when I should have. They have these inserts to make sure the bottle stays centered and does not move around in these boxes. That is a nice little touch. It's pretty cool. But let's take a look at this bottle. Now this bottle has that mirrored plate and you can see just do the endless reflection through the phone. So it's a mirrored chrome, mirror finish. Same thing on the cap. I'm just go forever and ever and ever on there. See my phone? <laughs> so, has a sticker on the bottom, batch and fragrance information. Batch is etched into the glass right there. Nothing going on on the sides. It's the same style from the uh, Warday collection, only this is a clear glass with this beautiful bluish, kind of purplish juice in the camera right now. It's looking purplish because of the lighting, but it actually has more of a blue hue than purple in person. And then the atomizer is fantastic for all of Kajal's fragrances. Oh man. Does not click into place. I don't recommend picking this one up by the cap. See, it doesn't, I don't know why. I don't know if it's just this bottle's messed up or what, but I would not recommend picking this one up from the cap. You really shouldn't do that anyways, but in certain instances, it's necessary, I guess. But the bottle on this, it's absolutely beautiful. Now let's jump into what I think about this scent. So it was released in 2014. It's classified as an oriental floral and I'll put the notes right there for you. So in the opening for this one, it's very floral as expected. The only difference with this one, there's a whole bunch of citrus up top. I believe it's a Malfi lemon, Calabrian bergamot and mandarin orange up top. Now the way the citrus is on this one, it's very fleeting. It hits you up front and then it fleets and runs away. I would say after about 15, maybe 20 minutes at best, at least on my skin, the citruses have faded away. Now, this turkey rose is light. It's not an overbearing rose. It's not a deep and dark rose. Um, it does add a, a dusty powdery quality to it, but it's a very fresh type of rose. The composition leans very fresh in general. This can actually be worn no problem in the summer. I mean, I wore it to work the other day and there's a hundred clipping like 111 or 112 with the heat index. And I kept having to go outside for different things and this thing was projecting, but we'll get into the performance in a little while, but you absolutely get a lot of that orris up top. Um, it's not that dense, thick orris. Um, it's not extremely waxy. It's more the iris floral side of it. Normally you would expect that out of an iris note instead of the orris root of the iris flower. Um, so it's not as rich as you would expect an orris to be, but 
the rose is really the star of this one with the orris playing a supporting role and like i said that citrus hits you up top so when you start to get in that transition the powder starts to come in a bit more it is a powdery floral fragrance i mean you have to enjoy stuff like that and then it has a very clean musky undertone in that transition you do get the musk in the background in the opening but that transitional period from the opening going into the early dry down you get a lot more of that musk and it's a beautiful almost almost kind of saltiness to the musk but not really um, this does have a little bit more of a synthetic edge than you would expect from Kajal but it just works in this composition uh, and then once you get into the dry down it's still lightly sweet the rose lightens up, but the rose is prominent from start to finish. This is a fresh rose fragrance at the end of the day. Um, and that musk is still there. It's very clean. Fresh is the best word to describe this fragrance. Start to finish, it maintains a freshness. Never becomes overly sweet. Never becomes overly powdery, like old lady, old man, offensive powdery. It's an elegant fragrance, but it's not one, that, it's not one that's too formal. It leans to dress up a little bit for sure. I definitely made sure to wear a nice ox for the day when I wore this. It, when you smell this one, it, you're going to think class and elegance. I wouldn't necessarily go with a t-shirt, but I wouldn't say you can't wear a t-shirt with it. I would just say dress to impress with a fragrance like this because it has that elegance. But it's so fresh that it's definitely something you can do in the hot weather. You know, business settings, weddings you know, outdoor events where there's a, it's a dress to your occasion. Um, Kajal Eau de Parfum is definitely going to work for that. You know, the scent on this one is just gorgeous. I was very excited to get it. And it's absolutely an 8.5 out of 10 in the scent category. I just love the way this one smells. Like I said, it does have a little bit of a synthetic tinge from the musk, but not overly synthetic. Um, the citruses are very bright. The rose is very natural and beautiful. And the orris is very floral. And then in the longevity category now i did get every bit of 10 hours with this fragrance until it became a skin scent it went a little longer than i thought i was thinking it was going to be probably eight to nine hours um you know with kajal om i get a little bit more than that with yasmina i get more than that but based on how fresh and light not overly light but how light and fresh this is compared to those I thought I wouldn't get maybe as much because it's not as dense of a fragrance, but I absolutely got 10 hours from it. I was very pleasantly surprised, and that's a 9 out of 10 in longevity. Now, in projection, it's not a beast, but it's far, far from being a slouch. This is one that in that first two hours, it's really putting out that arm's length maybe a little beyond. Um, you have a really good scent trail following you in that first two hours. You're not filling a room, but it's definitely a little bit more than arm's length off of my skin and then the next several hours it gets a real good moderate scent trail not really mild i would say more than that moderate scent trail where everywhere you go you're leaving a trail when you walk by somebody whether they say something or not they can smell you as long as their nose isn't stopped up um, and it's beautiful the projection on this one is definitely an eight out of ten it's just right for somebody that wants to make a statement, wants to be pronounced, wants people to smell them without being so much that you're annoying people and choking them out. Maybe the occasional person that has a real sensitive nose, but for the most part, you're not really going to bother anybody. And when you walk into a room, it will pronounce that you're here a little bit and it's going to smell very pleasant. Overall, Kajal Eau de Parfum from Kajal Perfumes is absolutely an 8.5 out of 10 fragrance in my opinion. I think this thing's great and I think it's very unisex. Guys, you got to try these things for yourself. They offer discovery kits and samples from Kajal's website, which is linked in the description below if you want to check it out. Um, this was sent to me for review, but all these opinions were my own, um, not paid in any way. That's not an affiliate link where I get a kickback or anything like that from Kajal. I just really like the fragrances they have to offer. They make some high quality, fantastic fragrances that kind of break the mold of the norm. They're not mind-blowingly different, but they have a lot of elegance to them. They're very well pronounced. They smell very fancy and expensive. Every single one of their fragrances that I have tried so far smells fancy and expensive. And Kajal Eau de Parfum is nothing short of that i think this is fantastic got more guys should sample this this isn't just some ladies perfume this is a unisex luxury fragrance for sure and until next time guys do me a real quick favor go ahead and like comment subscribe 
do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried this one before? I was very, very excited to try this one. Um, it just seemed like it would fit me. Turns out I love it. It's the fresh. It's fresher than Kajal Om, which is still very good for the summer. But that one can get a little sweet because of the Tonka bean, whereas the sweetness is really toned back on this. And this is really fresh. This is the summer fragrance from the house for me that I've tried so far anyways. Uh, so I will be getting some more wear out of this one for sure. I thoroughly enjoy the way this one smelled. Um, I think it's great and I think more people should try it out. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on Kajal EDP, give it a spray now. Pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one guys.